my phone whilst my camera battery charges um, and I'm just printing out all the labels and I thought I'd quickly say I have quite a lot of little messages on the orders um, saying if they've come over from TikTok or just in general I get messages saying like who it's for um, or why you've bought from me or just little like your shop's so cute so if you do leave messages like that I do see them um, I try and reply to them but sometimes if I'm like packing orders I might forget or if I've got like quite a few to get through I don't always get to go through all of them and reply but just to let you know I do see all the little messages that you leave me and it does make me smile so thank you Hello, so as you've just seen, I've um, packaged up some orders and I had to film it on my phone because I decided to vlog today and I also decided not to charge my camera battery. So I filmed that on my phone, um, so they're all done. But before I fully get into the vlog, I feel like I should do a reintroduction. My name's Ella, I run a shop called Quinn's Pins where I sell enamel pins mainly, to-do lists, postcards, prints, key rings, lots of fun stuff um, and I did post a video on here and then I just kind of abandoned ship and never came back. I don't really know why, I think, well firstly the coronavirus hit and we all went into lockdown and I feel like that kind of knocked everything back a step. I'm quite lucky in terms of I work from home anyway so it didn't change too much for me. For example like the people that are working nine to five um, out in an office or in retail, whatever jobs they do, um, obviously have either been furloughed or lost their job completely. Um, so in terms of that, I've been quite lucky because I work from home, so nothing changed too much. But obviously I had to adapt to it because yeah, it was all a bit of a panic and I kind of pushed the YouTube aside so I could focus on my client work because clients were obviously panicking as well so deadlines got pushed forward all kinds of things so I think I just pushed that to the side for another day but I bought a microphone recently and if you follow me on Instagram I asked what people would like to see if I tried YouTube again and pretty much all of the responses were vlogs like daily vlogs day in the life so I'm gonna give that a go I don't have an office, <laughs> I work from my room, so I don't know if this is going to be as visually pleasing as other vlogs are. I mean, I'm organised, I have it all in my room and if anyone's seen my little pastel shelves that I have, everything is all there. I just don't have a room away from my bedroom because I still uh, live at home. I'm looking to move out, but again, because of COVID-19, everything got put on pause. So for now we're just in my room but that's okay. So I've done orders and I have a few more to complete. Um, I just need to print off some stickers, some prints. Is that everything? I think that's it. I think it was just stickers and prints that I sold out of and um, I had more put on the shop than I actually did printed but that's okay because I can print more anyway so there's still some orders that need to be completed um, and in order to do that I need to print off some more stuff so we need to do that today I was going to go to the post office today as well but it's already one o'clock now I've just finished um, packing up orders about 40 minutes ago 
and rather than me rushing down there because the post office is where I am closed earlier I think due to the virus and everything so rather than me rushing down there now I'm going to go tomorrow which is okay because I think all the due dates are tomorrow or onwards anyway so they don't need to go out today but that makes my life easier tomorrow I don't have to sit and pack in the morning so yeah I've written everything down in my to-do list which I believe I filmed on my phone quickly as well so I've ticked off packing orders by the way I sell these in my shop as well if anyone likes organization like I do if you're new and you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok or anything hello all my links will be down below if you want to follow me over there um, oh and like comment and subscribe to my channel I'm not used to this yet but yes packed orders there's a few things I need to do on here I need to finish my website because I do graphic design I'm a freelance graphic designer as well full-time and I have my own website and I'm trying to update it I design websites for other people and when I do that I find it a lot easier because it's for someone else I kind of get an outside look at what they want yeah I just enjoy it a lot more when it's my website I can't seem to do it um i've done the home page and everything and i really like it it's just matching everything else um but as i say yeah for everyone else that i do stuff for love it perfect find it quite easy and i really enjoy it as soon as it comes to stuff for me i don't know what the hell i want so i need to try and finish my website print off some stuff do some client work and i will just give you a rundown of my day i've already had lunch as you saw which wasn't very interesting but yeah let me know if you like this vlog i don't know how long it's going to end up being but i will maybe try and do these once a week maybe every monday because that seems to be the chill days i need to actually order some um more feather pins and i think i actually need to order some more pins what other pins were there i think it was the disney castle um yeah let's do some printing Whilst we're here, a lot of people ask what printer I use. It is the Epson ET1400. Whilst that's printing, has anyone played The Last of Us? I bought it for Dan when it came out, which is what? 2014? 2015? And the new one's just come out and I was watching him play it the other day and it's made me really, really want to start playing it. So I've never actually been brave enough to give it a go myself. I like playing games and stuff anyway. But I just keep seeing this one and it looks really scary. But I gave it a go yesterday and I actually really enjoyed it. Even though I did have to get down to do one of the bits because I just couldn't get through it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I'm only on the first one. So that I, I'm trying to do it and catch up so that I can join the hype of the second one. But I doubt that's going to happen. It's going to take me ages because I only ever really play in the evenings. Um, but yeah, anyone else play this? I'm sure loads of people do. I don't really know why I'm asking. But... Let me are done as you have seen they look like this a lot of people I thought I'd quickly just say um, I've had some questions before on how I actually make the top part if I buy them or if I just make them myself I make them myself I literally just order a load of card in bulk um, I can't I can't remember the thickness of it maybe like 300 
GSM, is that what it is? But yeah, and then I use my printer, as I said earlier, the Epson ET1400. And I literally just design the front and back like this. And I just print them out and fold them myself and staple them on. I know you can buy them pre-printed for you. Uh, so if you'd rather do that and you know, you're happy to buy them, go for it. That might be a lot easier than cutting them all out yourself and folding them. The only problem I have is because I have so many sticker packs and I want to do a lot more, I don't want to have to buy um, header things for them each time, especially when I don't know how well they're going to do. I'd much rather just do them myself. I think they look fine. I think they look quite pretty. They've got the stuff on the back and they get ripped open anyway because people just want the sticker. But yeah, just print them out myself and fold them. So those are done and I've also printed out some of the everything's figure out for prints. So I actually need to take that off my list. Oh, and I posted a TikTok as well. Because I'm cool. I need to send a newsletter. Mm, what should I do? Ah, reorder feather pins. On the talk of pins and feather pins mainly, that's just because that's what I need to reorder. I have been looking at getting earrings made which I really want to do I'm just trying to find somewhere that will do them for like the best price and will supply a sample because with pins I kind of know how they all work um, I know manufacturers that I like to use I never use just one I have quite a few um, and yeah I kind of know the ins and outs of like the enamel that you need whether you want hard enamel soft enamel I know all the different types and stuff but with earrings I'm not as sure I would have thought it's basically the same just smaller and they put backings on them but I don't actually know so I've been going around finding places that do them and I'm just waiting for some quotes back but what would you think about earrings and I mean I might make some of the pins that I have now into earring designs and I also have some new designs that I could do as well I just think it would be quite cool if the pins do well some people don't collect pins or, I don't know, would just rather have jewellery. I've seen a lot of places do bracelet charms, which would be so cool to do at some point. So yeah, I was thinking of making earrings, so what do you think? Let me know, um, and if there's any particular design that you would like to see. I'm thinking, I mean the Brie Happy and Tough Cookie ones would be really cool. The only problem is, I don't think I can make the text that small to fit on earrings. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do ones with no text on them, but I could still do the cookie and the Brie Happy, but just without the text. And again, with the eyes and stuff on the Brie Happy ones, I don't know, that's what I'm asking, that's the kind of stuff I'm trying to figure out. But yeah, earrings could be cool, let me know your thoughts on that. I've just remembered that I think I have a new pin coming this week. I've ordered... Um, a creativity which is the design you've just seen this one as a pin um, because a lot of people liked the design and I just thought it would make a nice enamel pin so that's coming I think this week I've looked back at the email and I looked at the estimated delivery kind of time and it's coming up to this week or maybe next but I want to have the backing cards ready so that I can just get them out on the website and sent out straight away um, because I've made the mistake before once where I got a new pin and I didn't have the backing cards I completely forgot about them so then it delayed me putting them up on the website because I needed the backing cards so yeah I need to make those so I thought I would do that now and I can just show you how I make them really I mean I never make them too detailed because I want the main, obviously, attention to go on the pin, but it's always nice to add some little illustrations and stuff in the background. So I need to make the backing cards for that now, and I will show you how I do that.
Okay, so I've drawn what I want on Procreate and I brought it over to Photoshop. It is ridiculously simple, um, but I did say I don't really want much on it. So I ended up, I was maybe going to do a little bit more than this, but actually thinking, when I was thinking about it and drawing it, I don't really want much more. So I've just done, I don't know if you can tell, this is like a lilac, a light purple. And then I've just added some um, bubbles, so like dark purple and white. And then I plan for the pin to go in the middle here. So then it looks like some bubbles are coming off of it. Uh, again, it's really simple, but I think the pin has got quite a lot going on with it and I don't really want it to look too much. So I always do like the little illustration bits in Procreate and then I bring it over to Photoshop. So if I need to adapt to them, I can, but they, I'm pretty happy with them. I might need to move them around um, once I've printed them out and tested them. But yeah, and then I will go in and add the text and my logo and stuff on Photoshop just so that I can 100% ensure that it's a good quality because I don't want to bring it over from Procreate and print them out and then they're blurry but in Photoshop at least I can guarantee they're going to be good quality. Um, so yeah, I just need to add the text that I'm going to put here which I'm not really sure. Sometimes I like to come up with some kind of pun but to be honest I might just have this as creativity enamel pin unless I can think of something in between now and then and then I'm just going to put my logo here. Okay, so this is what we have. I've put the, um, oh my goodness, typical, typical, typical. So this is kind of, I think I'm happy with this. I've put this here um, so I can kind of tell where the pin would go and see if the bubbles would fit, which I think they do. Um, so now I'm going to print them out in its size, just on paper, and I might do a different, like a few variations, maybe of my logo in purple. Um, just to see how it all prints and so that I can see what it looks like on paper rather than just on screen, just to be safe. Okay, here are my options. I've put a Brie Happy pin as an example. They're literally on paper. I've printed them out. Sorry for my chipped nails. Um, don't think I'm liking this one. I think it just looks a bit too... Focus, please. Um, move that. A bit too dark, I think. So I think that one's a no. To be honest, I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, I need to move the bubbles aside because I think it might be a little bit too big. I mean, I know that the pin is going to be this high, <laughs> but I'm not sure about wide. I can't remember. Um, I don't think he ever said it was just however, you know, it worked with this height. So I think I am going to move the bubbles over. I just think maybe this one looks a bit... One though. No, I think I'm gonna go for this one because it's just white logo, purple text, simple yet effective. So that is that, and I just need to order them. Okay, so the backing cards have been ordered. I did end up going for these ones, as you can see that. Um, basically, the ones I just showed you in the last clip. I hope they turn out okay. You never truly know until they come. But doing print testing like that just really helps so you can see the colours on paper rather than just on a screen. So yeah, that is done. I have been doing client work in between, but I haven't really shown any of that because, I don't know, just nothing too interesting is happening happening at the minute. Um, but maybe I will in the next vlog or I can do like a day in the life of a graphic designer more than shop owner I'll end, I think I'll end up doing a mix of all but I just thought I'd keep this vlog just strictly shop owner stuff um what else did I just do yes I have ordered the um feather pins and the Disney castle pins they normally take about a month to arrive so hopefully by the time they come hopefully I can keep the stock by then but if not and they sell out that's amazing too I'm not complaining 
So yeah, they are done. I've pretty much done everything on my to-do list, apart from the website that I wanted to do for myself. I did do a little bit, but I've got all week to do that, so that's fine. The last thing I'm doing for today is I have just done something for my newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter yet and you want to be, I will leave a link in the description. Basically, I just give away some discounts every now and then. I haven't done one in a while. Maybe I'll do one of those actually as well. Um, ooh, laptop just died. Just some behind the scenes. I give you sneak peeks to things, which is what I'm doing at the minute. I've got some new products coming and I've basically told everyone on my newsletter what it is and I give them, so when they come, I'll be giving them a discount first so they can get access to it first at a cheaper rate. So if you do want to go onto my newsletter, you can join by the link below. I don't spam, to be honest. <laughs> I send like two, three out a month, sometimes more. Um, I just don't like to keep sending people emails. And also, I feel like I post a lot on Instagram and TikTok and now here, I try and find things that are necessary and kind of behind the scenes stuff for my newsletter. It can be quite hard to post to everything. So I don't do too much um, stuff over there so you won't be spammed, but make sure you check your junk when you do sign up because sometimes that happens. So yes, I've just been doing that, but I'm not gonna show that on here because it's for newsletter people only. But I think I'm pretty much done for the day. Have I done my whole to-do list? I've packed orders, didn't finish my website, but that's okay printed all the stickers and the prints. I do need to finish packing them up, but I am gonna do that tomorrow morning now. Um, finish client work, I did do that. Send a newsletter, I'm doing that now. I've posted to TikTok, and I've reordered my feather pins and my Disney pins. I have done it all. Yes, all done, and I even did the backing cards as well, which is a plus. So I don't know how much I actually filmed. If this turned out good, I'm not sure. This might just be a mini vlog. I don't really remember from this morning how much I filmed. This could literally be like a five minute vlog and then I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. But yeah, maybe I'll make these like a weekly or every two week thing. Um, I just hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably try and do a vlog on some of my busiest days but are more chill if that makes sense. So sometimes I have really busy days where I'm doing client work and Quinn's pins and it's gets a bit much and I can't vlog so I'll do stuff when I've got a good amount of fun things to be doing yes I think I'm gonna leave it here because I'm literally just gonna send this newsletter out and then I'm done it's coming up to it's coming up to five o'clock so by the time I've sent out that newsletter and I, I might finish packing them orders but it's nothing different from what you saw this morning that is me done for the day. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I will try my best to do more. And if there's any other kind of videos you want to see, not just daily vlogs, anything um, to do with Etsy, owning a website, whether that's more graphic design stuff, please let me know whether it's over on Instagram or on here. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye.